and we demand it. Fans, welcome back to the show. Lee Tidwell and Farron Fox here. Here's some fan cam footage of what happened last week in Columbia, Tennessee, the big six-man tag match in the ring right now. George Gulas making the tag to Tim Ernesto. Ernesto coming in. Big punch to Jeff Daniels and Dante, taking them both down. And there's one for Gypsy Joe for good measure. You know, Lee, the fans really responded to this six-man tag match. They were truly into this match, and it was entertainment from start to finish. Tim Ernesto and Dante, this is what leads up to tonight, tonight, tonight in Columbia, Tennessee, the final match. And Dante goes to the outside now, and Ernesto moving the ref out of the way, knocking Jeff Daniels off the apron. Ernesto going to the top now here in Columbia, Tennessee, Grand Slam USA. And Ernesto diving onto Dante onto the floor. Ernesto thinks his name is Condor right there, flying right off the top rope onto Dante, and Jeff Daniels is there. You know, excitement every week, every week at the NWA. And Ernesto and Dante being counted out, as, along with Jeff the Crippler, Daniels, the only two men having been eliminated earlier, the only two men left, Gypsy Joe and George Gulas, and earlier in the show, you saw Jeff Daniels and Gypsy Joe talking backstage in some sort of money being exchanged. Who knows anything about that money, Lee people? I don't think he was not exchanging money. That was general conversation. That guy, the goof with the camera, should have never been in the dressing room in the first place. Jeff Daniels now pulling both Gypsy Joe and George Gulas out. Mike Porter now trying to argue with the referee. George Gulas, I guess Gypsy Joe must have knocked the hair right off the back of his head. You see how tall George Gulas is? And Mike Duncan now, creative control with the mic. Jeff Daniels pulling both men out now the match must continue as uh, Mike Porter comes in everybody to the dressing room that big fat Mike Porter I am so sick and tired of him he gets bolder by the week I tell you what Mike Porter just absolutely makes me sick Jeff Daniels looks like handing something to Gypsy Joe now. Darren, he's got a phone call. Man. Lee, I've got to run. Apparently, I've got a phone call. Uh, uh, take it from here, Lee. I think that convention must be calling it. Sit down, Mike Porter. Mike Porter, the promoter of NWA Nashville, joining me at this time. Tell me your thoughts here, especially on this match. You know, Jeff the Crippler Daniels will see in just a little bit what happens at the end of the match. There has to be some sort of sanction or fine coming towards the Crippler. First thing, I'm glad to get rid of Farron. He was just looking at his mouth and in my show. I was there that night, and I don't understand. I saw the clip a few minutes ago of Gypsy Joe and Jeff Daniels in the dressing room. Can you explain that to me why the money was passed between them? I really don't have a clue. I just know, like, exactly what everybody here saw on the show. Gypsy Joe handed Jeff Daniels what looked like a wad of cash and saying the job will be done. Well, as the fans are going to see here in a few minutes what kind of job it was, uh, I have sent a copy of this tape to the NWA Board of Directors for their review and have asked uh, what type of sanctions or fines or what we need to do about this situation. But Jeff Daniels has got to be dealt with. I mean, he's gone for weeks and weeks and weeks. And you can see the $5 truck running around ringside. And every time she gets in, she gets involved in almost every match I've seen this year. And when that happens, you know, we have to take, take the authority in our hands and do something about it. We just can't let this continue on. Gypsy Joe and George Gillis in the ring right now. Jeff Daniels at ringside. Joe in complete control here of George Gillis making his in-ring return from a many, many years of layoff. Joe now knocking George Gillis flat to his back. Now, Mike Porter, you brought in a new creative control, Mike Duncan, the new booker of NWA Worldwide, trying to return Nashville to the way wrestling used to be here in this territory. We have now have two of the biggest family names in wrestling in this area that's ever been in this area. We have Lewis and the Jared family back together, which Mike Duncan is connected with the Jared family. He worked for Nick Lewis for years. He and I worked together for years. And now we're back together, the two biggest names in wrestling in this area. George Gillis now trying to make a comeback here on Gypsy Joe, punching away. And Jeff Daniels sticking his hand in front of the camera. Don't want you to see what's going on. Dominique trying to get more air time. And Gypsy Joe stopping away on the chest of George Gillis using that second, that bottom rope as leverage. He's springboarding off of it and dropping the boot right across the chest of George Gillis. 
I don't know who filmed this, but I sure am glad this fan cam was there so we could see what exactly what happened. Like I said, I've sent a copy of this tape to the NWA board of directors and asking them what directions they think we should take. Gibbsy Joe now, methodically, walks over to George Goulis, and Goulis now with one of those patented Goulis moves, ringing the ears of Joe and just kicking him right in the forehead, then it's Joe staggering backwards, and Joe now, Rick Flair bump, bam. Do you know about this food feud that's been going on for years between Gypsy Joe and George Goulis? You've heard the interview. Gypsy Joe complaining about George Goulis. Goulis said he's retired Gypsy Joe more times than he can remember. And now, after so many years, George Goulis returning to the ring to face Gypsy Joe. You know, I'm, I myself haven't wrestled in several years, but this goes back to the days when I started in wrestling with the Nick Goulis area. When George and Gypsy had these feuds going for years and that's continuing in Columbia, Tennessee. Gypsy Joe there escaping the abdominal stretch with a wreck of the eyes of George Goulis. Chase the referee getting out of the way here. Almost lost control of this match early on. And now with only two men left, finally does regain control as Gypsy Joe now kicking away on George Goulis as he's laying on the mat here in Columbia, Tennessee. We want the fans especially to watch this and be very careful in watching because we want you to see what happened here on the end of this match. Also tonight, Columbia, the first anniversary of you promoting in Columbia, Big Cars. That's right. When I started promoting in Columbia a year ago, uh, we had about 30 fans coming to the matches, and now with the help that we've got, we, we've got 250, 300 people coming over every week. The first match, we've got Ronnie Brown versus Dr. X. The I Quit match, Tim Ernesto and Dante, stemming directly from this six-man tag match. As George Gillis now goes over, gets the pin on Gypsy Joe. Jeff Daniels sliding in the ring now, attacking George Gillis from behind. Daddy hit him with Lee he Lee. had a roll of quarters. Pounding George Gillis in the back of the head, busting the roll of quarters. Gillis almost out completely here. And now showing him exactly why he's got the name Jeff the Quippler Daniels trying to dislocate the shoulder of George Gillis as Gypsy Jones just stomping away. Dominic Cup on ringside. Chase sees the referee trying to get him to break this hold, and he would not. Mike Porter, you on the outside, screaming, yelling. And Jeff Daniels to break the hold, and you, he wouldn't. Gypsy Joe headbutting George Gillis. This is not professional wrestling. These guys are intensely trying to injure George Dewey. And, you know, we don't have any room for this type of action here in the NWA. Other two referees out now trying to get trying to get him to break the hold, and he's just wrenching back on it, just jerking, trying to jerk the shoulder right out of socket. Mike Porter, the referees, everybody in the ring, trying to get Jeff Daniels to break the hold on the returning George Dewey. He has tried to injure him for life. You know, right in here when I was in the ring, you could hear the cartridge tearing in the shoulder. Now Jeff Daniels still with that whole Gypsy Joe finally raising up. And Daniels just laying back once again. Look at the pain, the agony. He, George Gillis almost passing out from the pain here. Look at the intensity on Daniels' face. His intention is to hurt George Gillis. Jim Ernesto having everybody in now trying to get him to break the hold. And finally he breaks the hold. And Jeff Daniels out. Getting hammered on by Jim Ernesto. And Gypsy Joe with a chair right on that injured shoulder. And finally, Gypsy Joe, and there's Jeff Daniels on the outside. Jeff Daniels, I have one comment to make to you. You will not get away with this. They're over there checking on the shoulder. Look at the pain that George Gillis must be in having. And Tim Ernesto, and they're checking on it. George Gillis. The winner of the match, which doesn't really mean nothing right now after the brutal punishment he has taken from Jeff the Crippler Daniels. I see what the money was transferred now. And I told you, somebody was going to get hurt. Yeah, I agree there, Jeff. He's finished. I crippled him. He's finished. He's finished. George Bill is still laying there in pain. Like I was saying, I see why the money was changing hands now. It looks like. Gypsy Joe might have been paying Jeff Daniels off to hurt George Gillis. Business just picked up. Fans, we, we, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to try to sort this out. Mike Porter here with me now. We'll be right back. George Gillis.